Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. This time I'd like to show you how to create a simple macro but importantly to put a button up here in the quick access toolbar which will enable me to click on a button and run the macro and the reason for that we will see shortly. So first of all I'm using Excel 2007 for this particular uh, uh, exercise so I use the developer tab and uh, you'll find in Excel 2010 or Excel 2013 that if you don't have a developer tab you will at least have a have a button uh, up here called macros but I'm using Excel 2007 to record the macro from the developer tab I need to click on the button that says record macro and when I do that up pops the record macro window I need to give the macro a name I'll call it format cells I always need to start with an alpha character and no spaces if I want a keyboard shortcut I'll hold down the shift key and press F in this case I'll store the macro just in this particular workbook for the sake of this exercise but if I wanted to use the macro in this file at some later date I would need to save the file as a .xlsm file. Now the description is optional but I'm going to type it in anyway just so that I can remember later if I need to what the macro does. So red text, uh, bold, uh, we'll say Arial font, 16 points and we'll say center aligned. You can put as many commands as you want in there because what's happening all of my keystrokes have been uh, remembered now so uh, I'll click I'll click OK and now I can go to the home tab and I'll say red text bold aerial there we go uh, 16 points and center align within the cell now I can go to the developer tab and stop recording. Now what I'll do, let's say in this cell here, I want to enter today's date and then format it according to all of the commands in the in the macro that I just wrote. So control semicolon gives me today's date. Control enter or control return keeps me in the same cell. Now what I'm going to do is in the developer tab I'll go to the macros button and I'll say run that macro and that's exactly what it's done. It's, it's um, uh, set the text to red, bold, center aligned within the cell and aerial 16 points. I can easily check that by going to the home tab and there we are bold aerial 16 center aligned red text. Now I don't particularly want to have to use all of those clicks to run a macro so what I'm going to do is to show you how to create a button up here in the uh, quick access toolbar which will run a macro for you and to do that I click the little drop arrow here which says customize quick access toolbar I then go down to more commands and then I click the drop arrow to the right of popular commands and say macros format cells there it is so I'm going to add it to the quick access toolbar there it is no problem however to put a button up here in the quick in the quick access toolbar I now click modify and there is a whole heap of buttons that you can choose from uh, I'm going to choose the little smiley face here and I'll say OK, OK again and there I see the smiley face which when I hover over it it will say format cells. Let's just test it. I'm going to control semicolon again, control uh, enter and I'll now run the macro by clicking on the little smiley face and there we go. All done with one click please use that uh, command up there uh, if you uh, if you wish to um, it's 
quite easy as, as you saw. Uh, it's a matter of modifying the quick access toolbar and uh, uh, you can choose whichever button that you want. Love to have you as, as a subscriber if you're not already and uh, don't forget to uh, comment if you would like to or a thumbs up would be just great. Thanks for watching folks.